Hello everyone, um, thank you for joining in another plan with me. Sorry, my voice went really squeaky then, I don't know what happened. Um, must just be super excited to film this plan with me, who knows. Um, sorry if I sound a bit quiet or if you hear anything through the wall, my other half is on the other side of this wall um, playing some computer games at the moment and I don't want to disturb him and I hope that we won't hear any shouting through the wall. Um, so, for this week, um, I am currently laying down a, a kit from Harriet Wright Designs and... It is beautiful. Um, there's a bit of a backstory to using this kit. Um, so basically, I had laid down a kit from Simply Watercolor Coat. It was a Cruella kit, so I thought, well, um, I don't personally like or celebrate Halloween, um, but I thought it's kind of a fun character kit to use just to kind of mix it up a bit and have a playful week without it being Halloween specific. Um, however, I laid it down and it was so white and pale and and cold um I just knew that I'd really struggle um to sort of I to not bring in any pinks I have so many pink stickers beige stickers brown stickers um and I just I, I do have gray stickers and I do have white stickers and things but I don't like it when a spread looks too white and and empty um I used some kits much much earlier in the year that were that kind of color scheme and I just didn't like it at all and I those kits the format doesn't really work for me so I would have had to bring in all my own stickers and I just knew that I wasn't gonna like how it looked um so I pulled up the entire base I'd laid down date covers washi sidebar full boxes the lot um and you can probably see the pages are very dirty from where the stickers were laid down I tried to put the, the this kit in exactly the same spot but you'll see me using the rubber and things um I didn't include too much of that in case it was really annoying but I did have to use the rubber in a lot of places um just to um rub out all of the sticker residue that was left where I didn't want it um so this kit was kind of random I mean I laid down the Cruella kit weeks ago um I like to lay down the base of kits way far in advance um just kind of when the mood hits um and then I actually plan as I'm as life is moving forward um but yeah I just really didn't like it and I thought you know what I've had this kit on my mind for a little while I've you know every time I flip through my sticker kit album it crops up and I did want to use it this season I wasn't sure where it would work um and I'm so glad I pulled it out. I, I love how it turned out. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I showed you the kit at the very beginning, but I also used a sticker sheet from Letters to Apollo. And oh my goodness, they matched perfectly, thank goodness, because the, the sheet of deco the Harriet Wright Designs kit wouldn't have worked. It was mainly kind of clothing and uh, laptops and drinks and things. It wasn't very much floral or anything like that so thank goodness I had that sheet to use um and it has worked so well I'm so happy with how the spread came out um so it's just a reminder I suppose to everyone I've not had to really do this before and yank up an entire kit um but if anyone lays something down and you're not sure and you just have kind of a feeling that you're going to be wasting stickers or you're not really going to love it at the end and you're just kind of almost I, I honestly don't think I'd have bothered planning the week which isn't like me um I really didn't like how it looked um lovely kit really pretty kit I just didn't it wasn't for me um it's just a reminder that it's never too late you can pull up the stickers and start again with a kit that is screaming your name and this kit was screaming my name um I'm obsessed with leopard print and I think this was done really tastefully I think the leopard print shoes um the leopard print pumpkins um and the sort of dash of leopard print in the washi and throughout the spread um just works really well and the I didn't use too many boxes from the kit. I did bring in a lot of Crafts by Towie lace scallop circles and uh, the Give and Go bowstrung boxes. Um, and you're seeing me use a Crafts by Towie scallop box there. I used a lot of those. Um, but I, I did use a fair bit from the kit to to be able to do this spread. And I love Harriet Wright Designs kits. Um, I think this kit is literally called Pumpkin Spice. Yeah, it is this next to me. It's called Pumpkin Spice. Um, and it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous it's kind of this dusty pink and brown very autumnal um 
and I'm so so happy that I that I changed the kit. Um, so moving into Wii itself, as I always say, all of my icons are from White Stationery, Miss and Meow, and Craft Spike Towie. Um, I have used a couple of other ones this week. One from um, I want to say it's called the Blush Bow Boutique Co. There's a bathtub a rose and tea shop bag they are closed now um i believe it was as of the 6th of november so i do apologize you can't get that anymore i'm sorry if that sounded a bit strange my audio um i had to change it because i'd said the wrong thing so i had to go back and cut it funny so apologies if that sounded really strange um you can see there i'm lying down one of the giving girl fancy bowstrung boxes and um using a ton of those white stationery tvs just to mark all of the stuff that i've watched and um, the reason in case anyone's wondering because i have noticed that with other people who are planning they don't really know what tv shows they've watched <laughs> um but for me this style of planning is so that in years to come i can kind of look back on what my interests were what i was doing Doing, what job I was doing, um, what I enjoyed at the time, who I was seeing at the time, what I was doing. So, sorry, who I was seeing as in, um, you know, friends, social events and stuff like that. I didn't mean to imply that I was still dating at all. I'm definitely married to one man and intend to uh, stay that way. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I want to have it to look back on. So it may look a bit silly in, at times when I've watched like three different TV shows in a day, but I love the white stationery TVs, so I don't want to switch up using them. Um, I can always make them match, like, every kit. They're amazing. Um, so I just like to mark everything, because then I, I feel like, you know, it'd be nice to look back and go, oh my gosh, I used to watch this, I used to watch that, or I still watch this, I still watch that. So for me, that's just a nice little thing I like to do. Um, I am really enjoying marking bubble baths in my planner. Um, I've marked it twice in the first half of the week and once in the second half of the week. And I love it, I have so much fun marking it every time, making it pretty, um, always using Miss and Meow bath, apart from the one time I didn't this week, but I, 99% of the time I use a Miss and Meow bath, and then the script is always from Whimsical Me Studio, and I think I already need to order some more, um, but I absolutely love it, it's always like a fun thing that I like planning, because I love my baths, um, and I prefer them over showers, which is why I have them so frequently, um, I don't need to wash my hair more than once a week because it is curly hair, so it does better with less washes. Um, so I just prefer baths. Um, so that's pretty convenient. Um, so in on Thursday, you can see I marked dogs in the office. Oh my goodness, it was amazing. So um, one of the ladies that sits next to me has this adorable, teeny, tiny, I mean, she must be about five months old now, this little puppy. She's so well behaved. She's so fluffy. She's hypoallergenic. She doesn't smell. She is wonderful. Um, so she came in and then just my boss randomly decided to bring in his two dogs later in the day um, and didn't tell anyone. And oh my goodness, we were so excited. They're gorgeous dogs as well um and oh we just spent the whole afternoon just with them on our laps when we were having team meetings and oh it was just it's always a wonderful day when people bring their dogs into the office and I wish people would do it every single day because it makes such a huge difference but they are particularly beautiful dogs so my week was completely made by that um and then on friday and um, so i recently ordered the new ipad mini and i wanted to get an apple pencil to go with it because i've just bought a digital planner i bought it the same day that i bought the apple pencil um and to use it as best i can i needed the apple pencil to go with it um so as i'm filming this video the pencil is due to arrive tomorrow um and i'm so excited to use a digital decorative planner I think it will just be so nice to just I won't use it like I use this one it will be a forward plan planner um and then I suppose I'll add things in as I go here and there but it's mainly for monthly spreads to do to mark sort of birthdays and big events that are happening um so yeah it won't be used for memory spreads or anything like that but I just like the idea of having something else and I, I suppose I have the option to dip in and out of meal trackers um habit trackers and all that sort of thing so I'm really looking forward to that um, I can't remember the name of the company. I'll have to put it in my next video if I can remember, um, in case anyone was looking for a digital planner to have on their own iPad. Um, I, I think it's a really cool planner. Um, so then on Saturday, I'm just marking, it was a really full Saturday. My grandparents came in the morning because they haven't seen our house since we bought it and moved in. Um, and that was in, we bought it in May and we moved in in June um or we completed in may sorry we moved in in june so it's been a long old time and they wanted to see it so they came in the morning for a coffee and stayed for an hour and a half and it was really lovely and then in the afternoon i went to play board games with some friends from work um 
and we just had such a good time. He has a pizza oven, so we made pizza. Um, I put it all on my Instagram story at the time. It was so, so much fun. And it was just the loveliest of lovely days. And then on Friday, um, because we don't celebrate Halloween, we didn't want to be in the house in case um, people were expecting us to answer the door for trick or treat. So we went out and we watched The Last Night in Soho, which was amazing. I can highly, highly, highly recommend that film. It's nowhere near as gory as I was worried it would be because I, I cannot look at blood and gore. It was like a thriller. It was excellent. And then we went for dinner somewhere that we wanted to try for ages. It's called Seven Lucky Gods and it's Korean food. And oh my goodness, it was insane. It's a small menu, so you know every item's going to be delicious. And it did not disappoint. Um, so here's the whole spread. I've a bit trouble getting the page up there. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and thank you so much for watching.